Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I had enough people uh, ask me this question since I've been running Deepin um, OS here. What is better to run Deepin the desktop environment as Deepin OS or on Manjaro uh, Deepin? And uh, I will answer that question a little bit later on this week. Um, but for now, I just wanted to walk through what I did as far as configuring, um, uh, as far as configuring your um, Manjaro Deepen up. Really, I set this up pretty much identically to the other system. I have, I think, the same applications on my bar where I'm running under the efficient mode. Of course, in this, you can run the efficient mode or the fashion mode. Uh, you can refer to the previous um, the previous video on Deepin as to how I set this up. It's virtually the same. Um, so, of course, you can choose where you want your location to be. I like it on the bottom. Uh, there are sizes. You can do, um, that's large. I thought I did small, but you can do large, you can do small. Actually, I'm going to keep it on small. Um, I prefer the small a little bit better. And then, of course, there's plugins. I keep the sound and the date time. I don't bother with the network or the power. That's not really all that important to me. Um, I will be doing a more of a comparing and compa um, contrasting. A um, couple things I'll point out here. Of course, on Manjaro, we have the Manjaro icon here, which is telling us um, we have our kernel packages. We have other options and other things for Manjaro, uh, which is something that's nice. Um, I was able to install all of the applications that I needed from the repositories except for Skype, which I activated the Arch user repository for that one specifically. Uh, and everything else is pretty much set up. I have the hot corner set up to pull up my settings in the upper corner. And I have the hide the desktop on the lower corner. Um, and so with the settings, I'm finding it much the same. Uh, in fact, a lot of the little uh, pesky little errors and, and issues that I had um, in uh, in the Deepin um, OS, I'm getting repeated in the Deepin desktop environment. So I'll highlight what those are on my comparative video. I'm even using the same icons. I am noticing I did not find the ability to put the home folder on there. I, I do have the computer and the trash um, I couldn't find mounted volumes, home folder, or network in the menu to be able to add those. I'm not sure if I looked for network, actually. My keyboard is being very screwy, so I have to move the keyboard around a little bit. Uh, so I can't find network in there, so I couldn't... Uh, I can Anything that is in your menu, I can put up here. One of the funny things that I noted, um, first and foremost, one of the things I like about this is the, the software choices were a little bit better. Uh, they did away with Chrome. They did away with uh, WPS Office. They did give me LibreOffice. They gave me Evolution as the email client, and they gave me um, Firefox instead. However, I don't know where Evolution is at. Um, it is not living under Internet, and it is not living under Office. Uh, I can find it in the all systems. Let's see if it's under this one here. I guess it's under system apps. I'm not sure why they put an email client under system apps, but they did. Um, let's see what else we have here. Let's go into our uh, documents here. I did not actually highlight the file manager uh, in the, um, this is an error that keeps popping up, mostly because I have a Windows hard drive on this computer. It's uh, I'll address that in my comparative video. Um, but here we actually, hey, look at that. We actually do have the templates folder. I'm not sure if adding something to the templates folder is actually going to do something or not. Let me do a new document here. Let's do plain text. Let's call it uh, HTML file. Oh, come on, stupid keyboard. All right. So let's do that. No, all right. Yes, okay, so something I, I highlighted is not being uh, easily doable is changing the extensions. On the Deepin desktop environment, you would go to properties and change it from here. I find this to be kind of stupid, but uh, whatever it is, what it is. Come on, the keyboard is really, really annoying me. Okay, 
So now when I right click, notice I still don't get that in there. So I still don't know how the new documents is being populated in the Deepin desktop environment. Uh, but anyway, looking at the file manager here, um, I like the Deepin file manager. It is, uh, it's a little bit different. Like I said, renaming things, you gotta go into the properties if you're wanting to name, rename the extension. Um, I find that to be, uh, it's getting too close to Windows and that was a bad security issue that they had. Uh, we have our settings menu up here. We have new window. We have, I guess, a dark theme option right there in the new window, which is kind of funny. Um, we can set a share password. We have our settings. So inside of our settings, we can open window. Uh, always open folder and new window. We have open file for double click. So you can do single click or double click. Um, the open default window is computer. Let's go ahead and just change that to home. So if I just go ahead and drop the file manager, open up a file manager, it'll go right to home. It was going to computer, which is a little annoying, which actually means I can actually remove this um, from the desktop now because I don't really need that. I'll just access it down in the panel there if I need it. Um, open new tab in current directory, view sizes, you can show hidden files. This is one of the things that's a little annoying to me is that you can toggle this with the control H button, but every time you leave the directory or I don't know if it's leave the directory or if it's closed, I think it's close the file manager and then reopen it, then it rehides the files again. So hitting your control H does not toggle this option. It just shows it. Um, this one here is the other one. If you do not want to go into your properties, if you are regularly um, renaming file extensions, just toggle this guy off. Then you will be able to rename files, uh, file extensions uh, as well. So I'm going to leave that off. Uh, auto index internal disk. Let's just close that. That might actually fix that error. And then preview, text preview, dot preview. So basically that is the preview files here. So I can turn off the various previews, in which case these will go away. So you can see that if I turn that on, we do get the preview mode, which is nice. Um, auto mount, um, open after auto mount. So of course, if I plug something in, it should automatically show up. And then if I click on this, it should automatically open. All right, so that is kind of the the basic. And then, of course, if you mess something up, you can always restore defaults down there. So the file manager on this, especially transferring files and things like that, it's, it's very nice. It's slick. Uh, it's probably not as full-featured as some file managers are. Um, I'm not seeing the option to resize the view. I don't know. I'm not. Oh, wait, maybe this must be it here. Okay, yeah, there you go. So we can we can resize it here down here at the bottom. Um, so other than that, uh, it's pretty basic, but it does everything you need it to do. And so for me, that's a, that's kind of a win. I like the file manager there. Um, everything else here, um, I have it basically just set up. Uh, I did resolve the issue with not being able to bookmark in, uh, Firefox. I did address that. I talked about that a little bit on the, um, uh, on the video last time that ended up having to do with the with my profile something was corrupted in my profile system so what I did is I exported the bookmarks uh, created a new Firefox pre uh, profile re-imported the bookmarks and then just re-entered my passwords and that seemed to fix the problem so that being said I can actually just get rid of those two I don't need those anymore and just to clean things up I'm just gonna move those guys up since I got rid of that so I have the trash can on the desktop now so that's good I like that um, I transferred all my other files in, um, so if I were to launch Kodi, it would have all of my network shares are already resynced into there. Um, I, I think GIMP was pre-installed. Uh, I had to install Thunderbird, and then of course moving my Thunderbird file over for Bubble Home, I have all my email accounts already set, ready to go. I installed Chromium, so of course Chromium is what I use for YouTube, Firefox is what I use for everything else. As far as everything else, let's walk through the applications that is on this, uh, and I'll hi highlight the ones that I installed. Of course, I installed Skype. Uh, I use that for business, unfortunately. Um, so I installed Thunderbird and Chromium. Firefox, Fire, uh, HexChat, and Transmission were default applications. I installed VLC. Deep in Music is the default there. For video, um, I installed Kodi, Simple Screen Recorder, and uh, GUVC View, so I can do this. Uh, I don't think I installed anything under graphics. It did give us the LibreOffice full suite and the GIMP was 
uh, pre-installed. Everything, everything in that is pre-installed. And then development, these were all pre-installed. And then for our system files, um, I think there's nothing else in here that's really, uh, uh, really groundbreaking. Here's HTOP. Um, so we are running, right now we're running on uh, one gig. It's probably gonna run a little bit less than that. Of course, I'm recording uh, HD video and running a, a camera at the same time. Uh, so that is what that one looks like there. Uh, okay. They do give us the Deepin terminal, um, which if you are wanting to access that, I know on Deepin OS, yep. So Control Alt T will pull up your terminal. I like this terminal. It just kind of gives me a throwback to the old, uh, old green. Uh, of course, because this is Manjaro, we're running on a more Arch, uh, Arch base. Um, so we we have Pack Manager installed. Now it says it should have Octopi installed on here as well, but uh, if it is, I have not found it. Um, so I don't know. Uh, we do have the Pac-Man installed. I ran all the updates, updated the computer a couple times. There is a kernel update that it wants to do. I'm not sure if I want to necessarily push that or not. Uh, this is one of the advantages of Deepin is the ability to update your kernel independently. So you'll see that 4.14 is running and installed. Uh, we can go up to 4.19, which is experimental. We have 4.17, 4.18. Um, I'm just going to keep the kernel where it is. I generally don't update the kernels unless uh, unless there's some real specific reason to do so. Uh, so that's kind of what I have to say on that. Of course, the one of the major differences here is um, I said I wasn't going to adjust, uh, talk about those, but let's go ahead and do it briefly anyway. Um, just because it's a major difference, the package manager. Of course, this is the the GUI Pac-Man. You can do it through the terminal as well. Uh, you can go with groups, you can go with repositories. Um, here's what is installed, and then we should also have core extra community multi lab. All right. Um, Of course, I have the Arch user repository installed. You can access that under your preferences. You need to enter your password for that. Let's go ahead and do that. And of course, here you can see that it is it is on. We have official repositories. I could probably pick a better mirror. And so this is how I have my settings uh, settings set up there. So that is, uh, that's just my brief setup. Um, so I will be running this. I'm probably going to run this for a week or two. I really wanted to install Linux Mint Debian Edition. I just had so many people ask me, what's a better implementation? Should I run Deepin on the actual official Deepin OS or should I run Deepin on Manjaro? I know some of my viewers absolutely hate Manjaro. Some of them actually love it. Um, I had a good experience with it last time. Um, the only thing that's going to drive me crazy about this is the notifications. I was so ready to move on because of that. I'm not predicting I'm getting anything really different. Um, that's kind of my prediction. So it's going to boil down to do you like apt in the Debian based or do you like Manjaro in the Arch base? I think that that's what it's going to boil down to. But I'll know for sure when I do a video later on in the week after I've been running this for at least a couple days. I'll probably run that for a couple days and then I will do a final wrap up video with all this. Um, and uh, maybe I'll inter integrate the uh, Deepin desktop environment into the top five lists. Uh, for this week as well. So I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think about all that. And, uh, you know, this is the, this is deep in Manjaro. Like I said, I have it set up pretty much the same way. I guess, you know, the other thing I could point out, uh, one of the differences is um, they have a lot more wallpapers. And one of the things I really liked is they had a lot of other wallpapers to highlight uh, Manjaro as well. And like, I had a hard decision. Of course, this is the one I was running over there. Uh, on on the original deep end. This is your default. Uh, there's just so many really nice desktops uh, that they gave you to work with. I'm a, I'm a Manjaro, okay? Uh, there's some nice wood. So it's kind of hard to pick out which one you, uh, you want to use the most. I really just like this one the most, so I went with that. And so, yeah, that was it. So 
it's looking good. It's looking about the same. So far, it's feeling exactly the same. I think day to day, I won't tell a difference, but yeah, we'll know in a couple days. And uh, when that's done, then we'll go ahead and uh, do those final wrap up videos. So if there's anything you want to see done on Manjaro Deepin, uh, then uh, let me know. And uh, this is the new desktop I'm running on the media PC for a couple days. So we'll see how it goes. So thanks for watching. Uh, take a look at the links in the description down below if you want to help support the channel. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.